maraming mga amateur bakers or yung mga nagsisimula pa lang na home bakers nagme-message, nagsasabi na ay chef, gusto po namin gumawa ng chiffon cake pero natatakot po kami kasi kalimitan po bumabagsak o ba diba, hindi dapat bumabagsak dapat tayo ay always with flying colors so today, let's prepare a chiffon formula, a chiffon recipe na foolproof and the technique siguradong hindi babagsak. So, very easy and very affordable po itong ingredients na to. Kailangan lang talaga, kung medyo, bakit po gano'n, nahihirapan po ako mag-practice ka lang ng mag-practice with patience, practice, and a lot of love. Siguradong yung chiffon mo, pagkakakitaan mo, at happy-happy ang mga kakain. So, first, let's check the ingredients. You need cake flour, white sugar, iodized salt, baking powder, this is egg yolks, and this is fresh milk. Nako, chef, pwede po bang tubig lang? Kasi gusto ko for everyday pambenta lang. Pwede yung fresh milk, gawin mong tubig. Pwede rin gawing pineapple juice kung gusto mong merong fruity flavor. And for the meringue, kailangan mo ng egg whites, white sugar, creme of tartar. Pag wala kang creme of tartar, you can use white vinegar or lemon juice. Or pwede rin ang calamansi juice. So the first step, because chiffon is a fluffy cake. Di ba? Very soft, springy, and very fluffy. Yun ang kanyang karakteristik. You can achieve that by sifting the dry ingredients at least three times. Tatlong beses ka talagang magsisift. So this is my cake flour. Ilalagay ko dito yung aking white sugar. Dalawa yung white sugar natin. One for the cake base and one for the meringue. Huwag kayong malilito. So yung isa, ilagay mo sa cake base together with the iodized salt and your baking powder. Pag napagsama mo na yan, mix it first with a wire whisk. Eh gusto ko po, Chef Mocha, di lagyan mo ng 1 tablespoon na coffee powder. Instant coffee powder. And then you sift it. Pag kasi nagsisift tayo ng dry ingredients, maraming purpose yan. Ang first purpose niyan is para malinis mo, ma-refine mo yung dry ingredients mo. And also, napaka-importanting purpose is to aerate it. Habang nagsisift ka, nagpapasok ka ng hangin. Tumutulong yan na maging extra fluffy yung iyong cake na binibake. That's why this is a step na hindi mo dapat isi-skip. Sift it three times. Okay? Eh, consider mo na lang parang exercise na din yan. O, oh, diba? Three times. Eh, chef, pwede po bang four times? Kasi favorite number ko po yung four anniversary po namin yun. Eh, oh, kung saan ka masaya? Ay, eh, paano po yan? Yung anniversary namin is five. O, oh, eh, di five times kung saan ka masaya? Eh, baka naman 31 ang anniversary nyo. Eh, bago pa matapos yung siphon mo, pagod ka na. Okay na yan. Hanggang 3 ka na lang. Plus 1. O, 31 din yon. And then next, you put your egg yolks. And your, uh, this is fresh milk. Lagay mo yung fresh milk. And kailangan din pala natin ng corn oil. Pabot nga, dear, nung corn oil. We need 1 fourth cup of corn oil. Pwede po bang melted butter? Yes, pwede ding melted butter ang ilagay mo. But, corn oil will give it a softer texture. So, you put 1 fourth cup of corn oil and then you just mix it like that. Okay? I'm using a wire whisk and I'm going to mix it until it's very, very smooth. Pwede po bang all-purpose flour? Pwede naman, kaso lang ang cake flour lang because it's really intended for light and fluffy cakes. Mas malambot talaga and fluffy yung result ng iyong cake. So if you can find 
cake flour. Advisable talaga ang cake flour. Or you can prepare your own cake flour by mixing all-purpose flour with cornstarch. Normally, one cup all-purpose flour, bawasan mo ng two tablespoon and i-replace mo yung two tablespoon na yon with cornstarch. That gives you cake flour. So, you have to achieve with a mixture very smooth like that. Okay? Once meron ka ng mixture na yan, punta ka naman dito sa egg whites mo or sa merang. So, yung egg whites, nilagay ko na siya sa malinis na mixing bowl. I'm going to put a few drops of white vinegar or you can also use creme of tartar, calamansi juice or lemon juice. We are putting acid. Bakit ba tayo naglalagay niyan? Para ba hindi mapanis? Hindi po. You're putting the acid because acid will help coagulate the egg whites. Ibig sabihin, habang hinahalo mo yung egg whites, pinapatibay siya nung acid. So, hindi siya basta-basta babagsak. Kasi di ba minsan, pag luma ng konti yung egg whites mo o may konting dumi yung mixing bowl mo, may konting oil, napipigilan yung pag-angat nung merengue. So, putting the acid such as creme of tartar, vinegar, or the lemon juice, calamansi juice, tumutulong siya na patibayin yung merengue mo. And then, I'm going to mix it medium speed. Okay? Huwag kang lalagpas sa medium kahit na nagmamadali ka. You want to keep the mixer speed na ganyan lang, neutral. Huwag mong mamadaliin. Bakit po? Kasi pag minadali mo siya, lahat ng bagay na minamadali, hindi pang matagalan yan. Okay? So, pag minadali mo to, ang mangyayari sa kanya, malalaking bubbles yung papasok sa merengue mo. Pag malaki yung bubbles, pag hinahalo mo na, mabilis puputok. Mabilis din babagsak. Whereas, pag yung mixer speed mo is mahina lang to medium, you are incorporating finer air bubbles. So, mas stable, mas pino yung iyong cake. So, hihintayin mo yung bumula like this. Pag nagsimula na siyang mag-bubble na ganyan, you can start adding your white sugar gradually. Okay, gradual lang. You see? Pwede po bang ibuhos ko na? Huwag naman kasi medyo mabigat yung sugar. Very fragile yung merang mo. So you want to add it gradually para hindi na bibigla. ba? Diba? Huwag mong bibiglain. Pakonti-konti lang. Okay? So once na ilagay mo na lahat yung sugar mo, you want to beat this until it becomes stiff. Kasi ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon, oh, ang lambot niya, para siyang cappuccino. Parang cappuccino. You're going to beat this medium-low speed until maging stiff or parang whipped cream. Oh, ba? Diba? Yung matibay na siya, pero hindi matigas. That would take around 2 to 3 minutes. Okay, so you will observe, pag nakita mong yung alon niya is parang may resistance na, ibig sabihin, ayan, makikita mo yung mixer mo, kahit hand mixer ang ginagamit mo dyan, pwede, pero medyo mas matagal lang. Let's say sa hand mixer, mga 5 to 6 minutes, whereas dito, mga 3 to 4. Pag nakikita mong parang lumalaban na yung merang, dun sa mixer attachment, ready na yan. Or you can always double check it. You should always double check. So makikita mo, parang siyang whipped cream. Do not wait for it na sobrang tigas yung iyong merang, okay? The secret, at least my secret for my chiffon, okay? Hindi mo dapat ito masyadong patitigasin. Don't mix it until stiff. Because if it's too stiff, mahihirapan kang ihalo yan dito sa mixture na to. No? So, this technique is very important kasi to make a good chiffon, kailangan mapaghalo mo tong dalawang mixture na to, your cake base and your meringue properly and with a lot of love. Ganto lang kasi kasimple yan. 
the explanation is this. Haluan natin ng konting hugot. Magkaibang personalities sila. This one is different. Makikita mo mabigat. This one is also different. Very light. Paano mo sila mapagsasama? So first, you need to use a technique called lightening or tempering. Ibig sabihin, ipakilala mo muna siya carefully. Maglagay ka muna ng konti. Yan. So, pagka magkakilala na sila, compatible na, you see, nag na din to. So, nag-adjust na siya. ba? Diba? From heavy, nag na din siya ng konti. Ganun kasi sa buhay, ba? Diba, kailangan nag a tayo. We need to make compromises para happy and well blended tayong lahat. O di ba nakaka-relate kayong mabuti diyan? Parang chiffon lang. And then saka mo na ilagay lahat dahil compatible na sila. So, light na pareho yung mixture, mapaghahalo mo na sila carefully. And kailangan pag hinalo mo dahan-dahan ka din. Wala talagang proper technique dito and walang bilang kasi depende yan sa bigat ng kamay nung nagkahalo. You observe the mixture very well. Pag nagpantay na yung kulay nila, pantay na yung kulay and yung texture niya hindi siya dapat bumabagsak. Ayan o, no? maintain niya dapat yung kanyang shape, yung waves. Pantay na yung kulay and then very thick pa din like a melted ice cream, ready na yan. O di ba? imagine very compatible from two different mixtures. Ngayon, turn into one very nice chiffon butter. Wow. ba? Diba? So, i-divide mo na yan sa iyong pans. I have here, this is a 4-inch mamon or ensaymada molds. One recipe will... Uh, make you 10 pieces of mamon. Pwede po bang sa loaf pan? Pwede. Pwede po bang sa ganitong pan? Pwede. Kung saan ka masaya. O diba? Kung anong size, kung anong shape ng pan ang makakapagpasaya sa'yo at sa mga kakain, dun mo i-bake. Hindi mo kailangan i-grease ang pan because ang chiffon mabilis yan matanggal pagka-bake. And then, this will go into a preheated 325 degrees Fahrenheit oven for around 25 to 30 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Hindi ko na pinapantay yung ibabaw niyan. I leave it like that. Kasi ayaw ko na siyang galawin. Baka kasi bumagsak pa ng konti yung chiffon to make it extra fluffy. Normally, two scoops per per pan. Ayan ang pagkakamali ko. Naging generous na naman ako sa simula. Kailangan ang pagiging generous mo hanggang dulo. Hindi lang sa simula. O kaya yan, ang cake butter ko is nakawawa yung dulo. Kailangan consistent. O yan. O diba, pantay-pantay na sila ngayon. Isasalang ko yan sa oven, and then babalikan natin yan pagka golden brown na yung ibabaw. So, after baking, ito, once it's already golden brown, pag medyo kaya mo nang hawakan, take it out from the pan and transfer it immediately onto a wire rack or cooling rack. Normal lang na magre-wrinkle ng konti yung ibabaw, but you can see how fluffy and soft it is. A good chiffon, pag pinindot mong ganyan, bumabalik siya sa kanyang korte. Ito lang yung sinasabi kong medyo naging generous ako nung simula. Kaya medyo mas malaki tong isang to. But that's fine. We brush it with melted salted butter. This is optional. Kung ayaw mo, pwede hindi mo lagyan. You just brush it with melted butter. Okay, just like that. Pag medyo mainit-init, para ma-absorb niya talaga yung uh, flavor. No? And then, you can put sugar, but me, what I do is, I put cheese. Grated cheese on top. 
Uh, nasa sayo talaga yan. Kung anong topping ang makakapagpasaya sa'yo, yun ang ilagay mo. ba? Diba? Ay, ay, yung kalahat ay hindi ko lalagyan ng cheese para dun sa mga gusto nila ay plain sugar lang ang nilalagay. And then I have here, look, eto yung tinest ko kaninang umaga. So, binalot ko yan and I'm going to teach you as well how to properly wrap your chiffon. Mamon pala. So, you get one and this is a cello sheet. We call it a cello sheet. You make a fold. Pagpantay na siya, i-fold mo lang ulit. And then, that's it. O, di ba maganda yan? Ititinda mo sa, papatinda mo sa kantin, sa school, because it's a very, very good classic Pinoy merienda na hindi nakakaumay and of course, very affordable because the ingredients are very affordable and napakabilis talagang gawin. So, let's try. Ito na lang. May cheese. I'm going to show you how fluffy it is and nakikita nyo kung gano'n kabilis siyang matanggal dun sa kanyang papel ah, ba? Diba? and then bubuksan ko siya oh, look very fluffy and ang bango-bango okay, look, how, look at the crumbs inside no? pinong-pino kung may makikita kang malaking bubble dun you can avoid that Bago, bago mo i-bake yung chiffon, itap mo ng isang beses. But I don't do that anymore. Hinahayaan ko ng may konting holes sa loob. konti lang naman. Because topping, pwedeng mabawasan pa yung pagiging fluffy. So let's try. Oh look, that's the labor of your love. Mm. The sweetness of the cake nagmamatch siya dun sa butter and of course, the cheese. So, I wish you a fruitful and very beautiful baking journey, kitchen journey this 2021. And I'm going to see you again soon.